Hi, have a look at these images. Can you tell which ones are mid-journey and which are from SDXL? The latest release for stable diffusion. Let's find out. This is the web interface of Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. Now, if you are not familiar with this interface, then stop, close the video, and go to my channel. Check out the playlist Stable Diffusion and watch the installation and other videos related to Stable Diffusion on my channel homepage. If you already are familiar with this interface, Checkpoints, LoRa, Civit AI, VAE, etc., then that's good, and let's continue. Stability AI officially released the SDXL version 1.0, and you can download it from Hugging Face or Civit AI. I will link both of them in the description below. Let's go to Civit AI. Here you search for SDXL. Look at this green thumbnail and click on that. Confirm that it's an official release. Download version 1.0 VAE and Refiner Fix. They have to go in the standard Stable Diffusion Models folder. SDXL works better with Comfy UI, a lighter and better interface for Stable Diffusion. My following videos on Stable Diffusion will be on Comfy UI, its setup, workflow, etc. Even the Civit AI models for SDXL are coming up with Comfy UI support. Firstly, when I tried to run the normal SDXL version, I kept getting this error even though I have a 4090. To fix that, you need to go to your Stable Diffusion folder, right click on the web UI user .bat file and click edit. Then you have to add the Xformers and no half command as shown. After this, save and close the command prompt and restart automatic 1111 again. There should be no errors now. Secondly, SDXL is very heavy on the system. Each image generation in batch 4 took around 2 to 3 minutes at 1024 resolution on my PC locally. You can use it on Google Cloud, but I haven't tried that yet, and I prefer it locally so I will switch to Comfy UI soon. Upscaling using the given methods takes even more time, double, I would say. In this video, I will first show you the prompt I use for mid-journey and compare it with the same prompt used in SDXL without any negative commands. Typically, stable diffusion prompting methods differ from mid-journey, but using the same prompt will give us a better understanding of the AI and would be a fair comparison. Then, I will use some Civit AI models and compare the mid-journey images with the ones created with Civit AI and, this time, will modify the prompt slightly to match how prompting is usually done in stable diffusion with some negative commands as well. Custom models, checkpoints, LoRa's, wildcards, Lycoris, etc. make stable diffusion superior. On top of this, add control net. There is no way to do what we can do with ControlNet in Midjourney or any other AI generative art tool. Let's check out the prompts and compare the images. A flower made of galaxy of star under the water, bioluminescent, glow, ray trace lighting, hyper-realistic, psychedelic colors, nebula. Just a note, all images for Midjourney are in version 5.2 with a style value of 200. The ones which I personally prefer will be highlighted. Comparing a modified prompt version of the same image using DreamShaper XL Checkpoint. All checkpoints are available on CivitAI.com. A teenage girl with crimson hair. Battling supernatural creatures in a haunted forest, fierce and resilient, illustrated in the style of Akira Toriyama, with cinematic lighting at dusk, featuring vibrant colors, 32K resolution. 
Here Mid Journey looks excellent, but again I have to go with SDXL because the illustration was defined in the style of Akira Toriyama. Mid Journey is too opinionated for this one. I used Envy Overdrive XL Checkpoint. The prompt said, Battling Supernatural Creatures. The custom model nailed it. Beautiful underwater photo of realistic oceanic white tip shark. Under ocean with coral reef, hyper realistic, modern, naturalism, new realism, photo realism, vibrant, fluid, rich colors, soft lighting, sun lighting, bokeh, luminous, ultra wide angle. When it comes to photo realism, without using a checkpoint model, Mid Journey clearly has the upper hand. And this is at a style value of 200. If you bump it up to 1000, the realism is mind blowing. Even after a checkpoint, I still prefer Mid Journey. Mind you, I am only using models trained with SDXL. There are photorealistic models trained in version 1.5, which have better results than Mid Journey. The child stands on the edge of the universe, stars, unreal dimension, rainbow, octane rendering, glowing lights. Here I would choose Mid Journey purely for the aesthetics. When I use a custom checkpoint called Copax Timeless XL, the results are way better than Mid Journey. A skull completely engulfed in a garden of multicolored flowers, rendered in Unreal Engine 5, with glowing lights and insane levels of details. Both are very similar in style and design. I don't have a preference here. Even after using a custom checkpoint, they are both almost the same. The only thing is the stable diffusion version is more accurate to the prompt. Psychedelic style artwork, single cherry blossom tree with neon leaves flying, sharp, dark background, vector, flat, illustration. Both generative art tools have done an excellent job. Hard to pick one. Not much difference in using a checkpoint. You can see how close SDXL is to mid-journey here. Rocket launching in space from Earth, flat, minimal, vector, illustration. I would not say that one image is better than the other. Both are as per the prompt, depending on what style you need. However, converting the stable diffusion image to a vector format would be much easier than the mid-journey one for further edits. A red and blue ocean with a pier, hut, and sunset in the style of Tokina at X11 to 16 mm F stop 2.8 Pro DX2 dark purple and light beige minimalistic symmetry Afro-Caribbean influence tonalist Tokina Opera 50 mm F stop 1.4 panoramic scale the only difference I can see here is that Mid Journey has given the same perspective with more realistic options in stable diffusion, only the second top right image is realistic enough. Using a checkpoint made some difference. Again, they are very similar images in aesthetics, colors, and long exposure photography. Artist's portrait of a handsome guy with bright colors, in the style of hyper-realistic sci-fi, rainbow core, bold palette, loose paint application, eerily realistic, anime inspired. Huge difference when using the La Mysterious checkpoint. Digital quilling art of Taj Mahal, India, minimal vector, vibrant colors. When it comes to quilling art, I love what Mid Journey does. I have tried several quilling art styles and Mid Journey nails it every time. The ambience checkpoint improved the artwork. 
However, here, Midjourney is still the best. The perfect burger fallen, flame grilled, melted cheese, a little bit of lettuce, slice of tomato, pickle, and sauces. Midjourney has given me only photorealistic images, even though the images were generated in high variance mode. I did the same with SDXL and got for completely different styles. I had to completely change the prompt to get images as close as possible to Midjourney. And yeah, both are very similar now. Mad Hatter, psychedelic coloring of the hat, splash of colors, photorealistic, insane details, close up, looking at camera, studio lighting, octane render, volumetric fog, only face and hat. This one goes to Midjourney, but technically it's not fair. The prompting style like this won't work in stable diffusion. Nowhere in the prompt did I ask the AI to generate an artistic background. Yet Midjourney gets its own opinion and creates its creative style. Using the Dukaten AI arc checkpoint, I improved the image, but it's still nowhere near Midjourney. Not even close, in my opinion. The Cosmos trapped in a bottle. Let's see if I can do something better than Midjourney, using a checkpoint and some prompt engineering. And wow, it's way better. I remember Midjourney version 5.1 used to put flowers inside the bottle for the exact same prompt, which changed in version 5.2. A rugged Hot Wheels model tackling a steep, rocky mountain path with a breathtaking panoramic view of snow-capped peaks during a crisp autumn morning, with ray-traced lighting, miniature appearance, and toy camera style, captured in Octane for a sharp, photorealistic 32K image. With or without the checkpoint, I find SDXL on par with Midjourney. A lighthouse with an aurora and a sky, in the style of flat shading, Low resolution, horizons, dark red and blue, adventure core, calm waters, flat perspective. The mid-journey images look perfect, but check out the prompt, which says calm waters, aurora in the sky, and flat perspective, all missing from the images, while SDXL nailed it. A female cyborg running away in a highly populated futuristic city, filled with neon lights, cinematic, volume lighting, intricate detail, octane render, high contrast, cyberpunk, Blade Runner, ray traced lighting. Midjourney again excels in realism. Using a checkpoint gave better results, but Midjourney is the clear winner. Niagara Falls by Moonlight, a cyberpunk take on the iconic Niagara Falls, with the waterfall illuminated by neon lights and the full moon casting an eerie glow over the landscape. Rendered in CG rendering with high details, intrinsic details, and dramatic lighting. For some reason, the neon lighting and the cyberpunk aspect in Midjourney are less prominent. But the eerie atmosphere is better. Using the Copax Timeless XL checkpoint changes the images drastically. However, the eerie atmosphere is still more dominant in Midjourney. To conclude, Stable Diffusion XL model, along with custom Civet AI models trained on it, is now on par with Midjourney, and in some cases, they excel better than Midjourney. However, you need a hefty system to run this model on. If you do not have a compatible system, try out ClipDrop.co, which is way cheaper than Midjourney. It is quite impressive how an open source model is on par with Midjourney, considered the best AI generative art tool to date. Obviously, Midjourney is not going anywhere. It's quick, easy, and fast compared to stable diffusion. And many companies and professionals are willing to pay for a quick and fast solution rather than spend money or time getting trained as a prompt engineer for the SDXL models. Midjourney finally has some competition, and competition is always good. Until next time.
If you have watched till here, thanks. Please, like and subscribe, and hit the bell notification to receive a notification as soon as we upload a new video.